Hi, I'm Steve, I'm with Ryan, and you're watching Charthouse TV. Today we're talking algae reactors. For years, reef keepers and marine aquarists have been using algae to export nitrates and phosphates, but it's only in recent times that we've seen the specific algae reactors come to the market. Uh, the theory is, is that by putting the algae inside one of these reactors, providing it with the right light spectrum and the right flow, you'll see an increase in algae growth and therefore better export of those nutrients. Yeah, the increase of the efficiency as well means that the algae can take those nitrates, phosphates out of the water a lot easier within the uh, reactor. Um, it also improves your water quality and helps raise your uh, oxygen levels as well. Um, as you can imagine, with new methods of filtration, all of the companies have uh, jumped on the bandwagon, they've all brought out a unit, um, and we get asked the same question every day, which one should I buy? So that's what we're going to try and do today. We've taken three of the most popular selling algae reactors, the ALR1 from ITC, the TMC Reef BioGrow, and the UAF reactor from Ultra Reef. We're going to show you a few of their key features and hopefully help you decide which one's best for your needs. Okay, so this is the ALR1 made by ITC Aquatics. Uh, this is the smaller of three units they've made, but as you can see, it's still quite a substantial reactor. Uh, this one is 48 centimetres tall, uh, 21 wide, including the pipework, and 17 front to back. So still quite a large uh, reactor. It comes with the fitments that you see in front of you. Um, it's got a 16 mil inlet and outlet, but because of the adapters they use, it makes it easy to be able to remove those. Um, yep. So you can hard plumb them in. Yeah, and run them, them on a manifold if you want to. Yeah, you can run them on a manifold. Uh, you can use the soft pipe in, whatever you really want to do. Yeah. Um, also, you've got the white covering on there, um, which reflects the majority of the light back into the unit and just makes it uh, optimum growth for the algae, yeah. basically. Yeah, I mean, you still get a little bit of light seeping out through this, but it does stop the majority of it coming out of the yeah. unit. Um, some people run in these reactors on a reverse light cycle to your display tank lights and it stops that kind of light seeping out of your cabinet, you know, like Pulp Fiction style cabinet, which can be a little yeah, bit frustrating. Yeah, it's not the best thing. Um, this one's rated between 1500 or they suggest that you run a, a pump on there between uh, 1000 and 1500 litres to get the optimum growth within the reactor. Yeah. I mean, like Steve said, it's a really solidly built unit and the first time you notice that is when you have to take the lid off. There's six thumb screws on the top and then that allows you to twist the top just in a bayonet style and then lift out the lid and which reveals the main lighting unit. Uh, the light is 16 watts worth of LEDs. They're wrapped around the central column, which means that you get a really even light distribution yeah. throughout the whole reactor. And then inside of that, You've got the algae tower, which is split up into three sections, three shelves that allows you to put algae on each of those and make sure you're making the most of the reactor, yeah, most of the space. not just getting algae at the top or the bottom. And there's little cutouts on those shelves to make sure you get water flow all the way through that unit as well. Um, a really cool feature of this internal piece, I don't know if you can see them, is these little fold out legs on the bottom of them shelves. That allows you to sit the centre section on the top of your reactor. It means when you're harvesting algae or when you're setting it up for the first time, if you've got drips or anything like that, it means that they go straight back into the unit instead of yeah, all over the, really the nice area touch. that you're using. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. They just fold back in and that just slides back in to the main body. Now, obviously, if this is working as it should be, you're going to be harvesting a lot of algae. So it's important that that's an easy thing to do. And on this unit, it certainly is the case. Main light just slides straight back in there, straight onto the bolts, and then tighten it back up. It's as easy as that. Now, as Steve mentioned, this is the smallest unit, which is probably our most popular and suitable for most tank sizes out there, but there is an ALR2 and an ALR3 available. More details, prices and descriptions are um, on the website and we'll put the um, link down in the description below. Um, this unit is £199. Um, it's worth noting that you don't get a pump that we spoke about earlier with the unit, so um, you are going to need to buy that as, as an extra, but £199 for unit, it's a fair price. It is. Yeah, so that's the ALR1 reactor from ITC Aquatics. Uh, on to the next. 
So this is the TMC Reef BioGrow S unit. It's available in two different models, one that comes just like this and one that comes with a pump, the really popular Reef Pump 2000 from TMC. Um, and the first thing you notice about these units is the size. It's a much smaller, much more compact unit. Um, actually stands at 39 centimeters tall with a 14 and a half centimeter diameter. So absolutely ideal for people who maybe haven't got much space in their sump. Uh, also comes with this uh, removable little bracket as well. So again, if you're really short of space, you can run it as a hang on unit. Yeah, it's really cool, it's handy. Um, also this one, so you've got a double sided uh, nine watt Samsung LED tube on this this one. Um, it just same as the other one. You can just pull the top off. It's got a little bayonet fitting on the top. Um, you've also got the free tiers to put your algae, um, free sections, and it will, you'll have growth all the way through the reactor. Yeah. Makes the most of the space. Um, so nice and uh, well built. Um, also with this, you've got a multi um, a multi sized uh, nozzle, uh, 16 mil and 12 mil. The good thing about it as well, if you wanted to, you could pull these off. They're just easy fittings, both of the sides there. You can pull them off and then hard pump it in, yeah. uh, glue it into your manifold, however you wanted to do it really. Um, another good feature added uh, with this one that's different to the others is you get the um, the Reef uh, the reef BioGrow light shield. So basically it's a, you can stick this on there um, and again, it just reflects the, the, uh, the light Back into the reactor yeah. to promote the growth. Mm -hmm. Also, a little feature: there's a little cut out there, um, so you can cut that away and put it on. And you've got a little spy hole on there, so you can see. It's best of both worlds. You can see when it's full without having the excess light. Um, also, on there as well, they give you a sponge that you can put at the top of the reactor. Just stops any of the algae getting back into your sump into your system. So that's another a good feature for this this one. Yeah, I mean they're really nice little units. Again, ideal if you haven't got a lot of space. Um, if you have got a pump as well, if you're running it on a manifold and um, buying it without the pump option, it's about one hundred and sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Um, so it's a really good price if you've already got that set up. But if you do need it with the pump as well, you can buy that. It retails at about two hundred and twenty pounds. Um, if you want any more information, again, the link in the description below. Um, but that's the TMC Reef BioGrow S, really great little unit. But let's get on to the next one. Okay, so here we have the UAF003 Ultra Reef Algae Reactor. <laughs> Trips up as out. Yeah. Um, so one of the first things you're going to notice with this one again is the build quality. It's built really well, uh, really sturdy, yeah. small footprint. It's only 14 centimetres wide and 45 centimetres tall. So really nice and compact. Um, it's recommended between 500 and 1500 uh, litres per hour, the flow to go through the unit. Um, so you need to take that into consideration. And also this one doesn't come with a pump, yeah. so you're going to have to get that separately. Yeah. Um, the other thing you're going to notice that's different is the inlet is on the bottom of the uh, reactor. It's supplied by this 16 mil uh, hose tail. Yeah, I mean, in fact, the whole bottom of the reactor is different to some of the others that we've looked at. Uh, not only is the water fed in through the bottom, but the way that you disconnect the main column, uh, the bayonet fitting is actually on the bottom as well. Um, you just spin that off here and lift up the main unit and that separates the main column from the base, which means if you're ever maintaining it to harvest the algae or to clean the unit, you can leave the pump on in the sump, let that carry on and then take this away and, and do what you need to do with it. And that easily as well just slides straight back on. Um, on the inside, you'll notice it's the same as some of the other reactors that we've looked at. It's got an acrylic shelf system to keep that algae separate and make sure you're getting light to it. But you may, it may look like that there's four shelves, but there's not. There's actually only three. Um, with the water being fed in from the bottom of the unit, it means that it just simply trickles out over the top which means that this top shelf here is designed to stop the algae from coming out over the top and into the sump unit. The other thing you're going to notice or wonder is where are the LEDs? Well, basically the LEDs are supplied with the unit, but separately in a bag. Um, you've got uh, 48 watts of LED um, that are in a self-adhesive strip. You basically fold that strip over, put it into the, the acrylic tube that's in the, the middle of here. Um, the good thing about that is that you can replace these if ever you need to. And also there's other spectrums available if you need to. You can just get some LEDs, fit them in there. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice, neat unit. Again, build quality is what really comes across. It's still built in Italy um, and it retails for £195. Um, available in only that one size. 
Um, if you want any more information or you want to purchase that unit, then again, links down in the description below. But there you have it, the Ultra Reef Algae Reactor. So there you have it. There's a brief overview detailing some of the features of three of our most popular algae reactors. If you are in the market or you are thinking about buying a reactor, hopefully that's helped you in making your decision on which one of these units will be best suited to you. If you've got any more questions and you want answers to those, just leave them in the comments below or reach out to Charthouse Aquatics website where we'll be more than happy to help. So for the first time ever, we're giving you the opportunity to win this Reef BioGrow S algae reactor that we featured in the video. All you have to do is subscribe to the Charthouse TV channel. We'll pick one of the new subscribers at random and then announce that in our next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. See ya.